Hey everybody, Jim the Tabletop Engineer here. I recently made a video on scattered terrain and a lot of you asked for more of it. So, okay, I'm gonna start making some more scattered terrain. I began this project by just taking a piece of chipboard and cutting two walls. They're about four inches wide. You wanna make sure they're the same height now after you cut these two walls, you want to trim uh, one part of each wall just so it looks like a ruinous wall. So I just took some scissors and trimmed them up here. Then take some uh, hot glue and glue these together. You want to try to get it to be a 90 degree corner, doesn't, ha doesn't have to be exact. And then glue that 90 degree corner down on another piece of chipboard and cut around it to create the base uh, of, your, of your terrain piece. Next, I went in and took tacky glue and I filled in a section where I took these little wood sticks. They're kind of square. If you look at them on the end, they're square. They're not toothpicks. And I just break them up in random patterns and I lay them down to create a wooden floor. I did the same with the second level. I cut a piece that would wedge in, make it about a quarter to a little more than a quarter of an inch below the top edge. Cover it with glue and do the same thing. Use the wooden sticks to create a fake wood beam floor. After that, I took some quarter inch thick foam and I cut a bunch of slices that are about a quarter inch thick. I use these to make a whole bunch of bricks. Just cut up a whole bunch of them and then throw them in a container with some rocks. As you can see right here, there's my rocks. Throw them in there and shake it up for a good 30 to 45 seconds and it will rough up the edges and dull sharp corners and make them look more realistic. Next, take your top piece and put it where you're gonna glue it in and draw a line. Don't glue it in yet, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna build up a layer of bricks to that line shortly. What I did next was I took the tacky glue and I covered the external uh, edge and I alternated the bricks. So as you can see here, there's one overlapping the other. And then what you do is you alternate. The next one will overlap the top one. It's kind of hard to explain, but you want to create a, a checkered pattern. So in just a moment, you'll see, as I add more, you'll see that I'm just basically uh, changing up the crisscross pattern as it climbs up the seam there. And it just breaks up and it, look, and it, it gives it a nicer look. It also will create the paths that you'll follow for the external bricks on the, uh, on the outside of the walls. Do this for the inside corner as well. Just do an alternating pattern. And then when you reach that line, glue in your second floor wooden beam and then finish up the inside edge. Then while that glue is drying, go to the outside and just start adding the bricks. This you know, takes about 20 minutes or so. Do two or three levels at a time. As you can see here, I lay down some glue. I do two or three layers and then I do it again. Don't cover the entire uh, level in glue because you'll get it all over your fingers. After you do the outside walls, do the top. What you want to do is you want to just throw these on there as if they're sort of haphazardly collapsing. Uh, make some, you know, run at odd angles. Make some as it look as if they're falling down along the cut edge of the wall. And uh, just, you know, just make it look more realistic. Next, you're going to go and you're going to do the inside of the walls. I ended up using a pair of tweezers just to help me place them because it's kind of a tight spot to get your hand in. And here I'm just doing one layer at a time. And uh, do both sides of it. And when you're done, black vomit. I took a, a bit of black paint and what you do is you dip it in black paint and then dip it in a little water. What this does is it will help it get down in the cracks and seams of the bricks so it'll, it'll uh, color the cardboard. After that I took some light gray and went over all the walls. Don't worry if it gets on the beams or the actual base uh, because you're going to cover that up with paint later. Just uh, get the inside and outside walls covered with gray and then I used uh, white. I gave it a much lighter dry brushing of white, but it really makes the gray stone pop out. After that, you want to take some burnt sienna and hit those beams. Use a smaller brush. Don't dry brush this. Just give it a good coat of burnt sienna and let that dry because when it's done, you're going to hit it with a dark or a gray dry brushing. Next, I covered the ground in tacky glue, and then I sprinkled little rocks all over the place. I did this on the outside edges of the, uh, the uh, terrain piece as well. 
and then cover it with sand. Uh, brush it off. Here I am covering the outside edges. Just sprinkle some rocks, sprinkle some sand, shake off whatever's left. By this time, the uh, beams had dried, so I just went over it with a gray and white dry brushing just to give it an aged wood look. Next, I went in with some greenery and just added those here and there to look like weeds and little tufts of grass. And here you go. Less than one hour, a nice piece of two-level ruinous terrain ready for the tabletop. All right, there you go. One piece of terrain. This thing was made in less than an hour. That includes paint drying time. The glue is still a little wet, but uh, there you go. One 90 degree, two level bit of ruin with handmade bricks, handmade or hand broken uh, wooden beams, and some little uh, greenery and weeds tossed in for good measure. All right, uh, if you liked this, I've got more coming. Y'all, y'all asked for more. Uh, Scatter terrain, I'm happy to do it. So look for more of these quick vids to uh, pop up over the next few weeks. Uh, I've got plenty more ideas. So uh, hopefully this gives you some inspiration and something that you can duplicate. Chipboard, foam, wood sticks, sand and glue, and you're good to go. All right, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Uh, I'll have a new video, video for you every Wednesday. Everyone, take care.